today's session we will be looking at i2c communication protocol so i2c communication was initially or originally developed by philips semiconductors back in 1980 i guess uh, so i2c stands for inter integrated circuit this is the full form of i2c inter integrated circuit it has two channels or two buses for communication one is the scl scl which is the clock line and other is sda which is serial data which is the data line so clock is used for synchronization uh, like this clock pulses are there at every regular intervals it is used for synchronization between the sensor and the microcontroller and serial data is the line which is used to transmit data between the sensor which is mpu6050 imu in our case and the microcontroller is esp32 so this line would be used to transmit data from the sensor there is something known as master and slave concept so there is a master in our case the master is esp32 this is a slave in our case this is the sensor mpu6050 this is the slave so using i2c lines you can connect multiple master and multiple slaves together but not multiple masters but other multiple slaves for example i have three sensors one is this sensor one is this sensor one is this sensor and all these sensors are running on i2c communication protocol so i can connect all the through the same bus scl and sda the difference is how does it know that uh, at this time i'm com communicating to sensor 1 then at this time i'm communicating communicating to sensor 2 each sensor has its own address in our case this sensor which this sensor has an address of 0 cross 68 or sometimes 0 cross 69 how will we get to know this address we will get to know this address by running this script this is the i2c scanner script which will tell you how many i2c devices are connected to the master device which is esp32 and what are their individual addresses so based on that you can communicate with multiple devices with different addresses